everyone, good afternoon. This is Jackie Erickson. I'm doing another postcard video and today we are going to do flower postcards. So I'm gonna show you the basics on how to put your flower postcards together. So here I have my fabric palette that I used. These are all different backgrounds that I'm using to put my flowers on top of, okay? And these are batiks that I used for the flowers. So we're gonna move those aside now, I've talked before about the, the foundation, which is fast diffuse. It's got fusing on both sides. Well, once you put a background on there, this no longer is fusible. So to do the flowers, you actually have to use a fusible web now. We use Wonder Under, which has paper on one side, and on the other side is the fusible. And you can feel it, you can't see it, but you can feel it. You draw on the paper side, which I have done. I take my pattern, grab one here, lay your fusible on top of it because you can see right through it, and then draw all your little motifs. Yeah, you, you can jump up and see what I'm talking about here. So I've done enough here to do two sunflowers, which is this postcard here, okay? So I have enough to do two of those. Now I want to press them on my fabric. So the paper side up, the fusible side down. And you're going to press this down a few seconds around the motif. Now I have an applique pressing sheet underneath this because I don't want my fusible to go onto my pressing mat. This protects it. I actually cut my pieces off and put them aside so I can cut them when I have time, like if I'm watching TV or something. Here's all my pieces and they have paper on the back side. I leave the paper on there until I need to take it off. What I like about this is whatever you press on there will come off. I have taken the paper off, but as you can tell, you cannot tell what the top and the bottom are. That's why I don't, thanks Paige. I don't take the paper off till I need to. Okay, so following your pattern, just eyeball it, put it in there. I'm gonna put all my little petals around. You may use all, I think there's 16 in this. You might use all 16, you might not. And if you start doing this and you feel like it's too many pieces, just press a few down. They're not going to go, oops, well, they will stick to this. And then you can start keep it adding some more. Come on. Now, if you want to use all of the pieces, start sticking some on top of each other because that's what a sunflower looks like. It might have... I'm going to use them all. I am, pull them out a little bit there. And that center, it doesn't matter that it's, uh, you can see through it, it's okay. Okay, all right, now I'm gonna press this whole thing down. And it's gonna stick to this applique pressing sheet. That's okay, I want it to. Now my little center, I haven't taken the paper off. Just, uh, if it won't come off, just pull it a little bit and tear it it'll pop right off. All right, put that in the center, press it down. So now you do need to let this cool off because it gets very hot. Cool off and then you can pull it off. Be careful, I take a couple of my petals and start pulling it off, come on. And then you can pull the whole thing up. And your, your flower is intact. The whole thing doesn't come apart, yay. If you do a bunch of these, say you're doing a, a row of these flowers, I would get them all done and then design my whatever I'm doing. But my postcard, I would do all my flowers first. So I have, I think I already have one with the background on. Here we go. So I have already done these ahead of time. Here's my little, I want, I have two different backgrounds here. 
and I have two different flowers. Oh, I think we'll put the sunflower here, maybe. It's not gonna quite fit on there, but that's okay. So when I sew around it with my satin stitch, I might, I'll catch some of the um, petals inside of it, but that's all right. It's not gonna. So here's my little, pull my stem all the way down the bottom. I could do this before I put it on the postcard foundation. This one's got a foundation, this one doesn't. Or I can do it afterwards, it doesn't really matter. Okay, a couple of leaves here. That is gonna get caught into my seam at the, when I put this together. And I think this one has a stem. So I can actually press, the, if I like the way that looks, I can press it in place. Maybe move this over a little bit. There we go, and I'm going to. Now I hope all the fusible's down. If it wasn't, <laughs> it'd be sticking to my iron right now. So that's good. And then that can be pressed onto this at this point. Okay, so this one, I still need my stand. Again, you gotta make sure you got the fusible down. Very, very, very important. Throw a couple of leaves in there. Another leaf. Okay, I want my flower on top. There you go. So, and you get that bottom there is gonna get caught into that satin stitch. Press this one down. Now, if, when I did this, if there was any fabric around here that was sticking it off the back here, I would cut it off at this point with a rotary cutter. I am going to use this little OmniGrid. It's a spinning mat, so I can, I don't have to move my postcard at all. I can just trim that away, spin it, trim the next side. Away. And there, I'm ready to put my little postcard stamp back on here. And these cut, these are cut about four by six inches. They might be a little bit bigger. Press that down. Okay, and then again, you'll want to trim the edge. See how much is left there? Want to trim that edge away. And then this postcard is ready to put the satin stitch on and be done. All right, all ready to get a little uh, stitch around it. So that's how you do the flower one. I also have um, what we call a quilter's assistant proportional scale. This is very cool. So if you have big flowers that you're trying to make small or small flowers that you're trying to make big, this is gonna make it really easy for you. I'm gonna use this as an example, just because it's a teeny tiny little picture and this is a copyrighted pattern, so you, you can use it for your personal purposes, but you can't sell what you make from this, okay? So, I'm gonna measure this right here. It's three inches across. Well, let's do it the right way. Three inches across. So you take that three inches. I wanna make it six inches so it fits on my postcard. So I take this, and the little center piece here, you find your three inches, which is right here, and you line it up with what you're trying to make it bigger to, six inches. So take the three inches, line it up with six inches right there. See how it's lined up? Okay, this little window here, holding that in place, look at the window, and if you want to enlarge it, you enlarge it by 200%. If you want to make it smaller, which I don't want to do, you would reduce it by 200%. But I want to make it six inches, I want to enlarge it. Go to the copier, and put in 200% for enlarging. This is what you'll end up with. This is a three inch one. This is the six inch one. Look at that. That's a teeny bit bigger than six inches, but it's plenty big. Okay, but that's how you can enlarge or decrease what you're trying to make. And it, for postcards, it's fabulous. Well, actually for quilting, for anything, if you're just trying to make things bigger or smaller. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to our channel and like the video. Thank you, until the next one.